Thirty days learn English with common conversations. It takes at least twenty-one days to form a new habit, and thirty days to form a truly strong habit. Let's create a good habit with Jessica by learning English conversations in thirty days. Greeting. Dialogue one. Neighbor. Hello there. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're new to the neighborhood. Yes, I just moved in last week. My name is Kaizi. I'm Bella. I live next door to you. How long have you lived in the neighborhood? About seven years. This neighborhood is very peaceful. That's good to hear. By the way, I also want to the supermarket today. Shall we go together? Great. Thank you so much. Dialogue two, friends. Hey, what's up? Yo, morning, Tom. Have you eaten breakfast? I woke up late in the morning, so I haven't had breakfast. Let's go to the cafeteria together. Cool. Go to class first. Okay. Good morning, William. Good morning, Tom. Hello, Anna. Hi. How are you? We'll go to the cafeteria. Would you? No, thank you. Have you done your homework yet? Yes, I have. There's a question I don't understand. Can you show me? Of course. Right after I have breakfast. Thanks. See you in fifteen minutes. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Amanda. What's your name? I'm Linda. Nice to meet you. What a great party! Agree. I love it. Where are you from? I'm from France. And you? I'm from London. Is this your first visit to the U.S.? No, I have been living in the U.S. for about four years. I've been here for about two years. Are you studying here or working? I'm a second-year student at the University of Law. Great. So you're twenty years old, right? Yes. How old are you? I'm twenty-six. I am a lawyer. Really? How wonderful! Shopping. Dialogue one. At the supermarket. Excuse me. Can I help you? I am looking for a floor cleaner. I don't know where it is. It's on aisle seven. Let me show you. Thanks. I don't see the brands that I normally buy. It looks like we're out of stock. This floor cleaner is also great. Lavender scent, huh? Yes. You can try it. Its scent is very pleasant. Okay. Thank you. Do you have a loyalty card? No, I don't. Your total bill is thirty-three dollars. Okay, thank you. Here is your change and your receipt. Thanks. Goodbye. Dialogue two, at the clothing store. Can I help you? I'm looking for a new dress. 
I like this style. We have three different colors with this style. What colors are those? Red, black, and white. Which color do you like? I want to try the black one and the white one. Yes, I will bring the black one and the white one. Which size do you want? I want a size medium, please. Yes, please wait a moment. Here you are. The white and red dress is medium size. They're so beautiful. There's the changing rooms over there. Thank you. Asking for directions. Excuse me. Yes. Sorry to trouble you, but could you tell me how to get to London Bridge? Of course. Just follow this road until you come to the main road. Turn left and continue for about one hundred meters. Then you will see London Bridge. It's not far, right? Yes, you can walk there. Thanks very much. Don't mention it. I just moved here, so I don't know how to get anywhere yet. I know. This is a big city. Thanks for helping me. Goodbye. Good luck. Giving for directions. Excuse me. Do you have a moment? What did you say? I think I am lost. Can you please tell me how do I can get to Oxford Street? Sure. You have to go straight about two hundred meters. Turn right when you see Apple Street. Oxford Street intersects with Apple Street. I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, we meet again. Hi. Are you lost? I think so. I'm a tourist, and this is my first time visiting this place. Actually, I'm free now. I'll take you to Oxford Street. Wonderful! Thanks for your help. Hometown. Where is your hometown? My hometown is Tokyo of Japan. I know Japan. What language do people in your country speak? Our national language is Japanese. Of course. What's it known for? Traditional arts, I think. Tea ceremonies, calligraphy, and flower arranging. Wow, it's interesting. I really want to go there to travel. Japan is also famous for cherry blossoms, isn't it? Yes, it is. Cherry blossoms bloom by the roadside. It's full of poetry. Would you like to live in your hometown or somewhere else? Yes, I would. After you graduate, I will return to my hometown. Jobs and occupations. Dialogue one. What do you do? Hi. Every morning I go to work. I often see you on this bus. Me too. We always take the same bus. But we've never spoken before. My name is Jack. I'm Elsa. I like your name. Thank you. 
You just said you were going to work. May I ask, what do you do? I work at a school. Wow, are you a teacher? Yes, I am. And you? What do you do for a living? I'm a secretary. I work for a French company. Great. I guess you can speak French? Yes, I can. Dialogue 2 What does that job need to do? Why do you want to be a teacher? Because I want to teach students all day long. What do you want to be when you grow up? I don't know, Mom. A chef? What does that job need to do? The chef prepares lunches and dinners. I like eating, but I don't like cooking. What does the barber do? They cut and style customers' hair. A pilot? Fly airplanes every day to faraway places. How about doctors? Doctors help sick people get better. What about the police? They protect the cities from crimes and bad people. Wow, I want to be a policeman. Time Dialogue 1 Day and Month What month and day are today, honey? Today is November 1st. What day will it be next week? November 8th. Yes, and... What? Really? You don't remember my birthday? Of course I remember. November 8th is your birthday. It's actually November 7th. I'm just kidding. When is our wedding anniversary? December 30th. How can I forget? Of course, because it's also your birthday. When was the first day we met? Are you serious? Okay. Let me remember. It was in autumn? I honestly can't remember the exact date. Me too. I'm just kidding. Dialogue 2. What time is it? What time is it, Jenny? It's 1.15 p.m., sir. What is the schedule for this afternoon? Meeting with the marketing team at 1.30 p.m. 3 p.m. Review scheduled posts and approve. Provide feedback. 5 p.m. Meet Mr. John at Euphoria Restaurant for new product development. Anything else? Tonight at 8 p.m. for your son's birthday. Thanks, Jenny. Could you order me a gift? I will send you a photo. It's my birthday present for my son. Of course, sir. I'll order it. And a birthday cake. Sure, sir. Let's go to the meeting room. I guess the marketing team is waiting. Ordering Dialogue 1 at the restaurant. Hello, I'll be your waiter today. Are you ready to order or do you need a few minutes? We're ready. Can I start you off with something to drink? Yes, we'll have wine, please. What would you recommend for food? I'd recommend the smoked pork jowl with pickles. It's excellent. That sounds great. I'll have that. Sure. What about you, ma'am? 
Can I have pepperdell with sea urchin, please? Yes, ma'am. I will be back with your orders. Thanks. Dialogue two, at the coffee shop. I'll order. What would you like to drink? As always, thank you. Okay. Hi. Would you like to order? I'd like a cup of coffee and a donut. What size do you want? I'd like a small size. And a medium-sized cappuccino. Yes. Oh. I'll have a slice of apple pie. Would you like cream with your pie? No thanks. Sure. What's your name? Lisa. Great. That's thirty dollars, please. Here you are. It will be ready in just a moment. Thanks. Dialogue three. Order food delivery. Hey, Andy, can we order food delivery? What do you want to eat? Pizza. Okay. ABC Pizza. How can I help you? I'd like to make an order. Can I have your address, please? One two three King Street, and your phone number nine eight seven zero zero one ten ten. Thank you. What would you like to order? I'd like two seafood pizzas, medium size, please. Okay. Would you like anything to drink? Two bottles of Coca Cola. The total bill is thirty-five dollars. Okay, how long will that take? About thirty minutes. Thanks. Common Q and A about food and eating. Dialogue one: World cuisine. <laughs> What do you think of Chinese food? Some Chinese dishes are a bit greasy for me, but other than that, I think Chinese food is very diverse and tastes great. I like Chinese food too. I always eat Chinese food once a week. Chinese food has a lot of great meat dishes. My favorite dish is sweet and sour pork. What about you? I like Chinese dumplings and wonton soup. I heard that Peking roasted duck is delicious too. But I haven't got a chance to try that. I haven't tried that either. What is your opinion of Thai food? Thai food is delicious, but it's a bit spicy for me. I love pad Thai, though. It's my go-to choice whenever my family eats out at a Thai restaurant. Ah, right. You can't eat spicy food. I love spices, so Thai food is perfect for me. I can't get enough of tom yum. What do you think of American food then? I think American food is pretty okay because it's generally not spicy. Well, American food is fine. There's a lot of fast food which I'm not a fan of, but American desserts are so good. I love apple pie. What about Korean food then? My favorite cuisine is Korean cuisine. The food is so flavorful. My favorite dish is tteokbokki. Which is spicy rice cakes. What about you? I like Korean food too, but I mostly like to eat non-spicy dishes like japchae, the stir-fried noodles. Dialogue two, beverages. Like sweet drinks? No, I don't. I get acne whenever I eat or drink too much sugar, so most of the time I only drink unsweetened beverages. What about you? 
Oh, I'm different from you then. I like sweet drinks a lot. Oh yeah? What kind of drinks do you like? I like soft drinks. Sodas, orange juice, apple juice, and beer. What about coffee? Do you drink coffee? I can drink coffee, but I only drink it once in a while. Otherwise, it'd be hard for me to fall asleep. One time I drank coffee at 6 p.m., and after that, I couldn't sleep at all and was up all night. Ah, I see. I don't drink coffee that much either. I prefer drinking tea. What kind of tea do you like? My favorite drink is green tea infused with jasmine flowers. I don't think I've ever tried that. What is that drink like? It helps me stay focused, and the smell is just amazing. Plus, green tea is a wonderful beverage with many benefits. It helps you detox your body and have healthier skin. It can even increase fat burning and help you lose weight. Green tea is also very rich in antioxidants. Wow, I didn't know drinking green tea had so many health benefits. Yeah, we'll bring you some tea the next time we meet so that you can try it for yourself. Cool, thanks, Ning Ning. Dialogue 3. Fast Food Hey Liam, what are you eating? I bought fries and some chicken wings from KFC. Do you want some? Thanks, but I'm full. I just had lunch at the cafeteria. Ah, okay then. Do you like fast food? Yes, of course. Who doesn't? What's your favorite fast food chain? My favorite fast food restaurant is Popeyes. They have very flavorful fried chicken, and the fries are also okay. KFC is also nice. Prices are very affordable. Their chickens are true finger licking good, and their salad is pretty good as well. My favorite fast food chain would be Shake Shack. They have the best burgers. The meat they use for the burgers feels like good quality. I'm also in love with the milkshakes at Shake Shack. It's not too sweet and it's so creamy. Oh yeah, Shake Shack is good. I gotta agree with you. Do you like fast food a lot then? Yeah, I guess I do. I have fast food like three to four times a week. Oh really? I only eat fast food once a month. Why is that? Fast food is a great option if you want to save time, especially when you don't have time to cook or eat at a regular restaurant. Well, you know, fast food is certainly tasty, but it normally contains too much grease, carbs, sugar, and other harmful preservatives. Eating fast food frequently can lead to many health problems. Ah, I see. I guess I should start eating less of it. Yeah. It'd be best if we could avoid eating fast food as much as possible. It's not going to be easy, but I'll try. Dialogue 4. Meals and Eating How many meals do you eat a day, Tom? I have three meals a day. Is that the same for you? No, actually, every day I have three main meals and two snacks. I like to split into smaller meals so that I'd not eat too much for each meal, and that I wouldn't feel too hungry or overeat later. Ah, oh, I see. What time do you have your meals? I have breakfast at 7, lunch at 11, and dinner at 7. I have my snacks at about 9 in the morning and 3 in the afternoon. What about you? I have my meals later than you do. I often have breakfast at 8, lunch at 12, and dinner at 8. What do you often have for breakfast? I usually eat oatmeal with some fruit, like bananas or apples, for breakfast. I like eating oatmeal because it's nutritious and quick to prepare. I agree that oatmeal is super nutritious, but I don't really like the taste of it. I like eating meat, so I often have sausages, ham, or bacon with toast for breakfast. Ah, uh, that sounds great, too. What kinds of snacks do you eat, Stacy? I often have yogurt and fruit, or some nuts like almonds and cashews. What's about you? 
I'd go with potato chips or something sweet like cookies and ice cream. Do you often cook? Yeah, quite often. I don't know how to bake, so I often buy snacks at the supermarket, but I do cook my own main meals. Oh, cool. I like to cook my own food, too. It's much healthier, and it saves me lots of money by not eating out all the time. I totally agree. Dialogue 5. Pizza. Do you like pizza? Yes, I do. It's my favorite dish. What is your favorite pizza topping? My favorite pizza topping is ham, sausage, and mushroom. How often do you eat pizza at a restaurant? Only once a month. How often do you order pizza at your home? I order pizza at my home once a week. Are there pizzerias near your home that deliver pizzas? Yes, there are plenty of pizzerias nearby. What do you like to drink with your pizza? I like to drink iced lemon tea. Do you know how to make pizza? I only know how to make pizza toppings. Do you know who invented the pizza? No, I actually don't. I guess it's an Italian? Why is pizza popular? Because pizza is tasty and there are many different flavors to choose from. Have you ever called for pizza delivery? Yes, of course, many times. How do you make pizza at home? I buy the pre-made pizza dough at the supermarket and put it on the toppings. Transportation Dialogue 1. Should we take the bus or not? Should we take a car or a bus to the cinema? Let's take a bus. Why don't we take a car? It is not possible to travel by car during rush hour and go to by bus is cheaper than traveling by car. But the bus goes very slowly. We will be late. Don't worry. During rush hour, going by bus is very convenient because there is a separate bus lane. No matter how, I still don't like to take the bus at all. I find it very convenient and comfortable because there are so many different routes to choose from. We can easily go where you want. It is always crowded and usually not on time. Hmm. But traveling by bus is less stressful. Why? Instead of driving the car, you can use the travel time from one place to another by bus to do other things, such as reading, taking a nap, listen to music. Hmm. I can still listen to music while driving the car. As you know, today is a weekend. The cinema is very crowded. If we go by bus, we do not need to look for a place to park our car. All right, let's go to the bus stop. Dialogue 2. A Collision and Solution Oh my god, what happened, Mark? I think there is a collision on the back of your car and someone wasn't paying attention. What on earth is this? Oh, sorry, sir. It's all your fault. Yes, I'm really sorry. I didn't have the break in time. That's bad. I fell asleep at the wheel, so I couldn't see the red light. You are a terrible driver. Are you okay? No, I'm not. My neck is killing me. And I have a scratch on my arm. Calm down, Tom. How about you? Have you been injured? I'm okay. There were only some scratches on my arm and my friend. Did you call the police? I don't call the police. A scratch all but forgotten. No, I have to call the police. I'm still in shock. Look at my car. 
It's all my fault. I slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. <laughs> it was definitely too late. Tom, cut out the drama. The car is only a little dented. Don't worry. I have insurance that will cover everything. Is that so? It will all be taken care of. I promise. It will all be fixed. All right. Everything is resolved. Call the insurance company. Dialogue 3. You should slow down. Jack, are you driving carefully? Of course, I'm still concentrating on driving. Look, you are exceeding the speed limit while driving. Please slow down. Don't worry, we're on the highway and I can still control the speed. Do you know what speed you're going at? 82 miles an hour. Do you have any knowledge about traffic rules? A little bit. Tell me what speed limit is on the highway. 80, 90 miles per hour, I think so. Oh my gods, no. In California, it is just 65 to 70 miles per hour on the highway. Oh, really? Yes, Jack. I wonder why you got a driver's license when you didn't even know the law. But the road is empty. Even so, you should slow down if you don't want to be blown by the police. There are no police here. Yup. But you will probably be photographed by a speed camera. Speed camera? Right. The police frequently set up speed cameras at this section of the road to catch speeding motorists. My friend Bucky was caught speeding last week, he said. That's bad. You should be more careful from now on and slow down. Okay, I know. I will drive slow down. Dialogue 4. Talk about the new car. Are you free this weekend? Yes, what's up? Do you want to go out on the weekend? Great, where are we going? Into the mountains. That sounds nice. I want to show you my new car. Did you buy a new car? Yes, I just got it yesterday. Which car brand did you buy? I bought a Cadillac. Whoa, a luxury car. Can I see it? Okay, let's go. I parked the car near here. John, is that your new car? Yeah. That's nice. I love the color. Me too. Red is my favorite color. How do you like it? I love it. It has great gas mileage and it has a lot of cool features. Tell me about your new car features. In this car, it's got the auto gear with parking sensors, power window, sunroof, wiper for the back mirror as well. What is your favorite feature? The sunroof. That's great. Did you get a good deal? Yeah, my cousin is a car salesman, so he helped me out. Awesome. I'm looking forward to this weekend. Dialogue 5. Car Parking Ticket Sir, is this your car? Yes. May I see your driver's license, please? What? Did I do anything wrong? License, please. And your car registration. Oh, yeah, here it is. Sir, did you realize you were parking in the wrong place? Really? Now are you giving me a ticket? Unfortunately, yes, I am. Read the sign, please. Which sign? I don't see a sign. 
The sign above you, sir. So what? It says that we can't park on Tuesday. Today is not Tuesday. Yes, it does. Although it also says that you can't park without a permit. I didn't see that. Well, I'm sorry, but I still have to give you the ticket. It's a minor mistake. Please excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, but I already started writing the ticket. Can't you just give me a warning? I'm afraid not. Fine, give me the ticket. Here's your ticket. You can either appear in court to pay the fine or mail it in. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.